Hey everybody, I'm sorry for the messy desk, um, but I really had to get this video out. I'm here to talk about EMC SAS drives, and these are enterprise SAS drives in a caddy, and they, you know, they're pretty proprietary. Um, they've got proprietary firmware on them, and we're gonna get the firmware off, and we're gonna reformat them so that we can use them in Windows, Unraid, FreeNAS, anything you want. Uh, Linux, you know, really anything you want. Um, I got these for really, really, really cheap. Um, I spent 70 bucks on five two terabyte drives shipped. So that's 10 terabytes for $70. Um, they're freaking amazing deal. deal. Um, these are 7.2 K RPM. And yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're good to go. So I've already got one formatted and I'm gonna show you how to take these out of the carriers. And then um, I will go through the format process, what I did to format them. It's super simple, but it does take a little while to do the format. So um, just carve out a section of time for that on an open box or something. Uh, this should apply to EMC drives, NetApp drives, HP drives, Dell drives, uh, anything that's a standard SAS drive, you should be able to follow this guide. Um, that said, your mileage may vary. This is my experience with EMC drives, so take that for what you will. Um, I don't have any guarantees about this process, but it should be relatively the same for all of those. Now, I've already got this one drive out, and sorry about that, didn't mean to bump the camera. I've already got this one drive out. As you can see, it's a standard SAS drive. We've got our SAS connector here. And really the difference between SAS and SATA physically is that there's a uh, there's a gap here between the data and the power with SATA. There is not with SAS. So we need to use 8482 breakout cables if we're going to connect this drive directly. And the nice thing about 8482 breakout cables is that you can also use them with SATA drives, so you can mix and match SAS and SATA if you want. Um, if you're going to be using these in a SAS backplane, you really just only need your regular SAS 8087 breakout to SATA, or whatever your backplane takes. Um, but make sure your backplane is SAS compatible. Now, getting these out of the enclosure is super simple. On these, we have a blue bar here. And really what we do is just slide our finger underneath, release the latch. And these arms just simply pull off the sides. And they might be a little bit sticky. These blue pads uh, do like to stick a little bit. There we go. So we got one blue pad stuck and it just comes off. So I'm gonna put the pad back on here. And then if you wanna save the enclosure, you can just snap it back together. And we'll set this aside. Now, <laughs> this seller has a wiped sticker on it, so uh, we know it's clean. And then you have this SAS connector on the end and you just slide this guy off. And there's a rubber pad that's glued on here that prevents the uh, SAS connector from shorting out on the drive. And so we just take this guy off. And you can remove the glue with whatever you want. If you don't want to remove glue, that's fine too. And so we've got our bare drive. And now we're ready for the format process. Um, I'm going to go over that in, well, I guess after the cut. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Discord or uh, post a comment on here. But yeah, so uh, long story short, really cheap hard drives, easy to format, and uh, they're good to go. So I'll check you, or I'll see you guys after the cut. So uh, I got my setup here with Ubuntu Live booted off of a USB and uh, I apologize for the server noise. Um, just got everything kind of set up in a janky setup just, just to get these drives formatted. 
but I'm gonna run through some commands here just to get the software installed that we need uh, to format these the proper way. And if you don't catch them on the screen real quick, uh, it, they'll just be in the description below and they'll also be on the website with a guide um, on how to do this. So I'm just gonna go through them real quick and get to formatting. So I already ran this command once, uh, but you want to do sudo sg underscore scan dash i. And I'll run it again just to show you what it looks like. And then there we see how we, we have all four of our drives showing. So right now I'm flashing uh, four of the two terabyte drives. So it looks like I've messed up my format on the drives last time, and um, if if that happens, it's not a huge deal. Um, all you have to do is just run the format again and let it run. So what happened was um, I accidentally pulled the power cord and it, it shut off in the middle of uh, formatting. So I formatted drive B, and I believe I should be able to open another terminal and run the same thing, but format drive A, C, and D. So we're gonna do sudo sg underscore format, format size equals 512, that's the important part there. And format protection info, that's gonna be zero. And we're going to do dev sd a. We'll do the same thing for C and D as well. So that's drive three and four. So once you've got all of your drives started, um, just let it run and try not to mess with the computer. Absolutely do not shut it off because you'll have to run through all of these steps again. And because we're on a live CD, you'll have to rebuild all of the packages and stuff like that. Um, this is going to take a while. For one drive, it took me about, I think it was like six hours. Um, it could take longer if you have more drives or larger size drives. So. Just come back and check on it and see when it's done, but typically I've run it overnight and it should be done in the morning. Um, formatting these is relatively easy and if you make a mistake, it's not a huge deal. As you can see, I made a mistake uh, by unplugging the server at the time. It's not a big deal, but uh, do your best to be careful. You don't wanna end up bricking your hard drives or anything like that. Um, EMC drives and NetApp drives and uh, other proprietary SAS drives are a great way to add storage to your server for just a little bit of money for a fraction of the cost that you would spend 
on um, a regular two terabyte drive or even a regular two terabyte SAS drive. Um, I got these for $10 each plus shipping and it amounted to, I don't know, it was like 13 bucks a piece, including shipping for two terabytes. You know, uh, so it was an awesome deal. And I've got a bunch of four terabyte SAS drives coming that I paid uh, 50 a piece for. Um, the six and eight terabytes right now are kind of in the same realm as regular SATA drives. So it's not really a good deal on those, but two, three and four terabyte drives, you should be able to get pretty good deals on SAS drives. Um, especially the proprietary like EMC NetApp uh, drives. So if you have any questions about this process or uh, drives in general, um, feel free to comment. Uh, hit me up on Discord, on Reddit, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.